7,8-dehydroxyflavone is an investigational compound. It's attracted a lot of attention in recent years because it targets a brain receptor that helps to grow new neurons. The 7,8-DHF is a flavone and it's found in plants. It was discovered while searching for molecules that imitate the function of brain-derived neurotropic factor, or BDNF. Brain-derived nootropic factor promotes the growth of neurons and synapses through synaptogenesis, and it's very important for the normal brain function. Lower amounts of the BDNF are seen in diseases like depression, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and schizophrenia. Studies in animals show the 7,8-DHF can potentially help with brain repair, long-term memory, depression and neurodegenerative diseases. The 7,8-DHF mimics the effects of brain-derived neurotropic factor in the brain cells by activating tropomycin-related kinase B receptors, the typical target of BDNF. The therapeutic potential of BDNF is restricted due to its short half-life, less than 10 minutes, and its inability to cross the blood-brain barrier because of its large size. Unlike the BDNF, the 7,8-DHF is able to penetrate the blood-brain barrier and enter into the central nervous system. 7,8-DHF also increases the production of NRF2. NRF2 increases antioxidant enzymes like heme oxygenase 1 and also enzymes that repair our DNA. The 7,8-DHF rescues the cells from damage and death caused by oxidative stress. In this case, it removes reactive oxygen species. It increases NRF2, and this increases the production of several antioxidant enzymes. It increases glutathione, glutathione peroxidase, and superoxide dismutase. Because of the relatively low apparent bioavailability of the 7,8-DHF, which is about 5% in mice, Researchers are currently developing prodrugs that can be converted into 7,8-DHF once inside the body. The most promising of these is currently known as R13, and this has eliminated plaque that's associated with Alzheimer's disease in the brains of living mice. 7,8-DHF improved object recognition, a test that's used to determine learning and memory in healthy rats, when it was given immediately following and three hours after learning. It also improved memory in mice with dementia. In rat models of post-traumatic stress disorder, the 7,8-DHF prevented stress-related memory impairment, and it also improved memory in aging rats. It promoted the repair of damaged neurons. It also increased the production of new neurons in the brain of adult mice after injury, and it promoted neuron growth in aged mice. Similarly, along with exercise, it improved brain function in rats who experienced traumatic brain injury. It protected against stroke-related brain damage in mice. The beneficial effect was more pronounced in females. It also prevented neuronal damage in mice after traumatic brain injury. It decreased the release of inflammatory factors in brain cells by blocking NF-kappa-B. It also reduced the levels of inflammatory causing nitric oxide, prostaglandin E2, TNF-alpha and interleukin-6 in the macrophages or the white blood cells. In an animal model for Alzheimer's disease, it reduced amyloid plaque formation, it reduced oxidative stress, prevented the loss of synapses and prevented memory deficits and preserved cognitive function. It improved motor function and it prevents the loss of dopamine-related neurons in a mouse model of Parkinson's disease. It also prevents the death of dopamine-sensitive neurons in monkey models of Parkinson's disease. It delayed the motor and cognitive impairment and prolonged survival in a mouse model of Huntington's disease. It improved motor deficits and neuron survival in a mouse model of ALS. In multiple cirrhosis, it reduced the disease severity. It decreased cognitive deficits and improved learning and memory in rat models of schizophrenia. Infections in pregnancy and subsequent abnormal brain development can increase the risk of schizophrenia in the offspring. The early use of 7,8-DHF decreased the behavioural abnormalities and the psychosis in the offspring 
who are at risk of developing the schizophrenia-like disorder. In a mouse model of Down syndrome, early intervention with 7-8-DHF increased the production of new neurons in the hippocampus and improved learning and memory. Fragile X syndrome is a genetic condition and it causes a range of developmental problems including cognitive impairment and learning disabilities. In a mouse model of Fragile X syndrome, the 7-8-DHF improved cognitive function and it reduced spine abnormalities. Rett syndrome is a non-inherited genetic brain disorder and it mainly affects girls. Symptoms include unusually slower growth, difficult coordination control and language issues. The 7-8-DHF improved the symptoms in a mouse model of Rett syndrome. It improved depression in mice that experienced social defeat. It also reduced depressive behaviours in rodents experiencing chronic stress. 7-8-DHF decreased abnormalities in behaviour and dopamine transport in mice on methamphetamine. It also reduced the rewarding effects of cocaine in mice. It reduced fat production and fat buildup by increasing antioxidant enzymes and neutralising reactive oxygen species. In mice on a high fat diet, it increased the muscle AMPK levels. It increased whole body energy expenditure, reduced fat and improved insulin sensitivity. Obesity in pregnancy can negatively impact the child via the placenta. The 7-8-DHF improved placental characteristics and may therefore help decrease the negative effects of obesity in pregnancy. When injected into rats with elevated blood pressure, it caused an acute blood pressure reduction. When administered orally, there was still a decrease, but it was less pronounced. The 7-8-DHF decreased inflammation, increased collagen production and increased antioxidant enzyme levels in aged human skin cells. The 7-8-DHF killed oral squamous cancer cells and melanoma cells in cell studies. The potential relevance of the studies is still unknown. Due to the lack of human studies, the potential side effects are unknown. However, users have anecdotally reported overstimulation, restlessness, dizziness, nausea, irritability and trouble sleeping. The possible drug interactions are unknown, so always talk to a doctor before using this if you're on any medication. It can be purchased as capsules, pills and powders. As of yet, no safe effective dose has been established, but most supplements come in 10 to 30 milligrams per day doses. To learn about herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.